All right. So, uh, one possible clinical relevance or clinical anatomy of the radial nerve is what is known as what radial tunnel syndrome. Radial tunnel syndrome. Now, radial tunnel syndrome syndrome is simply um, a situation where the radial nerve is trapped in the radial tunnel. Okay. And we'll talk about possible reasons why the radial nerve can become trapped or compressed. Okay. So um, here we say that what well, this radial uh, tunnel syndrome is what well, the condition where what there is compression of the radial nerve as it travels through the radial syndrome as nice tunnel in the forearm. Okay. Symptoms there will be pain. Right. So typically there will be pain on the outside of the elbow, just like we have it here. Right. It's pain on the outside of the elbow. You see this area labeled red. So there's pain there. And the pain will often worsen with activity. Okay? For weakness, so that over time, the condition can lead to weakness in the forearm, making it difficult to grip or lift objects. Okay? Wrist drops. In severe cases, the patients may well experience wrist drop, which is what? Inability to lift the hand past a certain point. Okay? Causes uh, is mainly compression, so the radial nerve can be compressed into repeated motions over use of the hand and all of that. Okay, injury, which is basically trauma. Other factors like diabetes, thyroid disorders, presence of tumors or cysts can also increase the risk. So diagnosis is um, is mainly on symptoms and physical examination of the patient. Okay, so probably you ask them to make some movements with their hands and all of that. You also power pay to see if the place is tender. If you want to further confirm, you might want to involve things like what MRI or ultrasound. Okay, those are the ones that are typically used for diagnosis of this condition, right? So that's if what radial tunnel syndrome.